An automated silk screen printer now applies a diagram of the electrical circuitry in ammonia resistant ink. Then the board goes into a machine called an etcher, which uses ammonia to dissolve the copper coating. Copper shielded by the ink diagram stays intact. The machine then rinses the board with sodium hydroxide to dissolve the ink, leaving behind just the circuitry diagram in copper. This copper configuration will conduct electricity to the circuit board components. Automated machines insert the smaller components. Here's what that looks like in slow motion and at actual speed. As a worker provides counter pressure, a machine folds over the leads of some larger components to secure them to the board until they're soldered. Workers then install large irregular parts by hand. Among them, the sockets that hold the tubes which power the amp. The ribbon connectors that join different areas of the circuit board. And the wires that connect external components to the board. The factory permanently affixes everything in one shot, using a process called wave soldering. The circuit board runs through a bath of molten tin and lead. In just a couple of seconds, the liquid... Electronic circuit boards are the brain of every inverter. Equipped with thousands of components, some of them extremely small, the monitoring functions is in 30 seconds. Between the production stages, each board is checked with automatic optical inspection procedures. In total, 10 optical inspection machines ensure that our high quality standards are met during the whole production process. Now let's take a closer look at the three steps of production. Solder paste is applied on the board with a solder paste printer. A template ensures that the application of the paste is limited to the points where the SMD components will be placed. Afterwards, the board enters the assembly machine, where SMD components are placed automatically. They are loaded into the machines in reels, similar to film reels. Typical SMD components are resistors, diodes, transistors, or integrated circuits. The smallest of these components are about the size of a pencil point. Therefore, the machines operate precisely, but also extremely fast. Each one of the two insertion heads can place up to 60 components per second. To accomplish this, they save time by carrying a supply of up to 20 components in a rotary magazine. This allows them to place several components without having to retrieve another one each time. After every component is placed, the board passes through a 23-foot-long furnace. A temperature of 500 degrees Fahrenheit causes the solder and the spreadable soldering paste to liquefy. Now the SMD components are bonded firmly to the board. Since inspecting small SMD components with the naked eye is not possible, SMA uses an industrial image processing system known as automatic optical inspection to check the predefined parameters quickly and precisely. During each test, 80 images are captured using a special camera. The system then compares these images with reference data in memory so as to determine possible deviations. In doing so, about 1,600 attributes are checked. This is accomplished by hand, but also with the greatest precision. 
At each workstation, a screen shows the exact position and number of the parts to be mounted. Once completed, the board is placed in a matching transport frame. An RFID module on the frame allows the subsequent systems to recognize each type of circuit board automatically. An example of this is the second optical inspection, which SMA is the only inverter manufacturer to apply before the second soldering procedure. Here, about 160 attributes are checked in addition. And if one of the larger components is not correctly in place, this can still be easily rectified. Now the THT components are soldered onto the circuit board. In the wave soldering system, the board is moved slowly over a wave of liquid solder at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, the wire connections inserted through the board are bonded firmly to the circuit board. Last step, test and coating. Once cool, each board is electrically checked. Are all of the components in their place? Are they the correct values? Does the board perform electronically? For each type of circuit board, there is a matching testing device, a rack with up to 800 fine contact pins. When closed, the pins touch corresponding contact points on the board so that currents or testing signals can be applied and measured. Once the test is completed, the individual firmware is uploaded to the circuit board's memory. Lastly, each board is coded with a protector processing, be it in the assembly lines nearby or in Denver, Colorado. Based on these carefully manufactured products,